Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Call of Duty stream with your host, me, Dragon, and Taco. And today we will be presenting USM Army Call of Duty team in their first game of the season against Missouri State. The USM COD team is coming off of a playoff winning team season as they were able to get to the playoffs, but unfortunately lost to the, of the eventual finals uh, contenders. So, Taco, tell me about what we can expect in this day's match with the whole updates of Call of Duty being a little bit uh, iffy and a little bit buggy. But overall, what do we expect on today's match? It's going to be interesting seeing the way that they rotate around, especially the newer maps, because, you know, they don't have that much time to, you know, get used to them. It's not like old maps. Um, they're going to have to just really make sure that they're doing it well and rotating correctly. Um, their shots, of course, have to be accurate. They have to know where the other team's going to be. Oh, yeah. um, but other than that, I mean, I think they should be good. Yeah. I believe uh, since this is the first week and the new updates for the new map rotation for rank won't be implemented till like four weeks from now. So we should be good on that department. But with the current maps with Karachi, Six Star, Vista, Invasion, what can you tell me about what can we expect with those maps? Is it a high pace or low pace? Or like, is it just more of knowing the map and being there on good timing. So Six Star is an interesting map. Um, it's based off of like a mansion from what I know. Uh, the rotations is that it's a very open map. So there's really no place for you to hide in it. Um, so they're gonna really have to hold their corners and depending on the game, they have to know where to be and when because if they're caught in the open, they're they're done all righty and what can we say because i believe the map that we are picking today are one two six star maps the beginning and the last one and three straight karachis Not, yeah so tell me about karachi what can we expect with playing the same map three times Honestly, I think it'll be a lot of adjusting from that first match. Uh, depending on how each team does, they're going to have to change up their rotation. They're going to have to change up their style of play. Just depending on what their opponent does, how bad they lose. It just, you know, especially playing the same map, you you get used to it. So it should be good. All righty. Well, based on my experience of uh, being able to be a part of that team for the the time I was am. We have an additional player, Strahan, who's making his first game debut for the USM uh, Army team. As last season, we did have Anxiety, who was promoted to B team. So being able to witness what can uh, this new dynamic, as we have three returning members, as mo mostly Mr. Robot or Jeff being a four-year, I believe, three-year member, the longest tenured on the team, with Tyler being the second longest, and Orbs coming in towards the uh, later part of the uh, season to step up and play a crucial role on being basically a killer to a certain extent. But me being able to watch this team during practice, during scrims, being able to watch their VOD, record their VODs, I believe they have a really strong ch chance for this season. And I really hope uh, this game goes their way. But of course, this is Call of Duty. Anything can happen. So tell me, what's your go-to weapon when playing the Oh, I have to go with the striker. Um, the movement with the striker is just, it's too good. Um, now, it obviously, it depends on the map. Uh, if I'm playing six star, I'm probably picking an MCW just because you got to hit those long range shots. But um, striker would definitely be my go-to. Uh, what about you? I would say I'm more of a sub, but I'm more of a hill sitter. I'm more of an objective player. Just my uh, R6 roots when playing anything that's like hard point or like control i'm just gonna play close to the objective and just sit, soak the hill time or really just grab a sub and just focus on close range my uh, my long range is a little iffy sometimes some will say i have a mozzarella stick for thumbs but my map knowledge is there and i'm able to slice and dice with a good rival nine mm -hmm. yeah that sounds awesome uh it really is you know, you can be good, really good at one part of the game and be really bad at another, but you can still be a good player. Uh, as long as you know that map rotation and your shots are decently accurate, if that person is really good at shooting but has no map rotation, you take them over every time. That's going to be very crucial. And uh, to give a little characteristics of our current COD team, we have Jeff and Orbsy probably going to be running MCW while we're going to have Strayham and Tyler probably 
running rival nines. They are our sub players. <laughs> Me being able to observe uh, Strahan, he is a high pass aggressive sub player, being able to gain a part of the match map control, and he's going to be a very crucial on map rotations. With Jeff being the basically a human turret to a certain extent, being able to dot people for long range, and being having a uh, Caleb or Orbzy being a good two way player, and Tyler probably most likely going to be an objective player, if I had to guess with the role, and he plays really well, especially on SD. Making knowing the timing is right to when to plant the bomb and when to not plant, and hopefully we can uh, see them skills play into this match as we're currently getting ready to start. So Taco, what is your highest rank? I I have 400 hours in the game, which is majority in casual TDM because oh. I just wanted to get my KD up, oh. and I got it all the way up to 3.5. I was killing with an MCW well, what every about match. Rank? What about rank? What okay. Are we, what are we doing? Now, 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 now. Grinding now. camos? What are we doing? Hear me out. Hear me out. I hit a solid gold three. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. What's the, what, what was the level? What was the rank, like, level? I know you hit gold three, but what was the level? Oh. Was like, rank, like, level nine, level eight? I, I think it was seven. I think I that's hit not rank bad. Level seven. That's good. That's really good. Unlike me, I was hard stuck plat. Level 50 plat, th uh, plat one, actually. So uh, it was a struggle trying to get up. But once you find that rhythm, you're able to uh, really progress. Mm -hmm. Now, are you playing a little bit of Warzone? I do. I, re I really enjoyed Warzone, um, especially whenever they added that car 98K. Ah, I heard that gun was really good. That gun is insane. With the quartermaster suppressor and the paracord grip, you just couldn't beat it. You couldn't oh, beat man. the gun. Headshots, insta kill. It was it was just insane. Uh, and then I'd usually run a static HV with same quartermaster suppressor and paracord grip. You know, have to has an, have an SMG with you when you have a sniper. It All just right. rolls like that. And I'm just taking a little bit on the chat. Thank you, Rain, and thank you, Mixie and Odyssey Russ. Oh, Russ, for tuning on the stream. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't really. The, the the players are locked in right now. We're not gonna disturb them, not make them checked out. But I'm pretty sure they're all locked in. They get ready to to get this thing going. I think we're bringing a little bit of issue, so please hang on for a little bit. But make sure you subscribe make sure you give a little follow for the little titch stream and make sure you check out our social handles for any announcements of the up and coming games now taco is there any other games other than call of duty you're passionate about i am actually like a diehard rocket league player i've been playing that game since the sixth grade oh um, right. it's just it's it's i'm actually on our rocket league black team which is technically our third team but um we're all really close in rank well except for the coca-cola team <laughs> but um you know that's that's really what i'm passionate about uh i play games on the side like cod obviously but um it i usually do like two hours a day practices you know what about you i know you used to play for the cod team what is the game that you play on now i play college football 25 it was a uh, i'm a big sports meathead per se and uh playing madden last uh year was very much uh nails on a chalkboard it was very much uh, irritating but when i got to college football i found a little bit of rhythm and i started playing online I was able to somewhat have good success and then when i tried out uh also transfer that success there so i'm like why not let's just uh focus on that and then cod uh, as much as i love the game sometimes you gotta realize there's a there's a limit to where how good you can be and i was not going to get there so instead of grinding nails on a chalkboard i decided just to switch games and just focus my resources on one but and again for those who's joined the stream we're having a little difficulties trying to set up a match but make sure you stay once we continue there's going to be an exciting matchup with usm uh, army playing against missouri state gold i it's dibble dally and a little bit of rockily but i never really got uh fully into it what can you say about like the importance of being able to do aerials and air dribbles 
Well, so like COD, Rocket League's really a rotation game, so you have to have an equal level of mechanics and rotation for you to actually succeed. You know, you can have all the skill in the world, but if you don't have that rotation or that game sense, it really you're going to be hard stuck champ or hard stuck diamond. Um, I know players that can do double flip resets and score it every time. I'm going to be but real. I have diamond no three. idea any terminology, but I'm going to take your word for it. I would say that's a great similarity with Rocket League and COD. You have to be able to have that dexterity of being able to have the movement and being able to not only win gunfights, but be able to put yourself out of position to not only play your life, but be able to like be there for a teammate just in case it's like a 2v3 situation. You have to play your life and stay alive so the other teammates can spawn in. Can you tell me what's going to be a crucial factor with Hardpoint on 6-star? Oh, what's the crucial heal? So Hardpoint, the, the points on Hardpoint on 6-star are really just, they're out in the open for the most part. I think there's one where you have three walls around you, but for the most part, it's like out in the open, like you have to hide behind a bar or it's on a little staircase. So really it's gonna be how good are you at holding down the hard point and making sure that a player doesn't jump out of you and just gun you down. And you also have to stay moving too because you can't sit still in one spot or else you're a goner. So they really have to hold it down. You know, you have to have players outside of the hard point, obviously. But um, I think that both teams could really get it down, especially if they're playing six star twice. Now, what do you think about the Karachi hard points? I believe Karachi is one of the maps that I've seen this team succeed in during the summer. Like anytime they play on Karachi, it's pretty much it's a 90, 90 to 10, nine to ten uh, win ratio right there. But like I said, anything can happen with them playing uh, S and D on Karachi and control on Karachi. That's gonna be very interesting because I know on Hardpoint for sure that's a guarantee. Mm -hmm. That's just a guarantee. But what I can see with Karachi is gonna fit a lot of our players' play styles, like with the high range, getting the top of the power points, being able to move around fast and quick, and being able to get those spawn advantages and the and that easy map control and rotations. So it's going to be really interesting if they can translate what I see in the summer to this season. And if they can translate that, then I'm pretty sure something is going to have a great season. But if not, then uh, back to the practice room. Yep. Yep. What, do you th what is the optimal map rotation, do you think, for six star? Like, how many people should be running towards the hard point? How many people should be flanking? How many people should be running through middle? What What is your expert opinion on this i would say the big thing about six star is going to be the spawns because with p1 being out in the open it's going to be a 50 50 you're able to get that point but with p2 you want to be able to get those back spawns so you can set up on the pool side and that's going to be crucial to get those spawns especially because if you're gonna lose out on p1 you gotta be able to get the spawns in p2 just to, so you can flip spawns and with p3 being a little bit out in the open is still more of a spawn oriented. I believe it's going to be on the pool side. I'm correct? Maybe not. I know some of the spawns did change, so I'm just saying the best I can. Yeah. With uh, I know P4 is going to be a statue. That's one that's going to be also on another mid map. You want to just basically just hold the angles, make sure you get back on the back spawn or back B lane, perhaps. Mm -hmm. May get that wrong, and make sure you hold angles on you. But I would say the big thing. It's just really spawns. I mean, you can have however many flanks, but if you don't win gunfights while trying to rotate spawns, then you're probably pretty much going to lose full. But uh, as we are, we're not starting. All right. We're just making sure the lobby doesn't uh, disconnect. But I'm pretty sure that's pretty much what six R is. It's just uh, what, what the timings, rotations, and the control of spawns. Mm -hmm. If you're able to control spawns, then that's pretty much you got four, like, no, at least two money hills right there to help you win the game. Uh, we're still missing one Missouri State player. I don't know if they're having any technical issues as uh, the time window is down. Uh, make sure uh, any of you are watching, make sure you hit that follow button, maybe a little subscribe button. 
And uh, make sure you follow our social media handles where we will announce any up and coming games, up and coming uh, streams. And make sure you follow our Instagram and TikToks for any clips that happen during the match that you're not able to see. And of course, any part of this will be re uploaded on, this, on a Twitch so you can rewatch it for your enjoyment. And I'm pretty sure we'll hit YouTube some point or time. So, just to update you, uh, Shaders are my left player once again, but he's starting on Xbox now, so we should be good to go. Alrighty, we just got word that the match will be beginning in about a minute or two as one of the players uh, is having a shade problem, which that's the one thing I hate about this Call of Duty. It's every time you Every time up the there's game. a giant update, it just wants to take its sweet time loading shaders. Mm. Yeah, it's it's awful. It's it's like it's like what a ten, like sometimes fifteen minute sometimes shader update. Like, sometimes like, don't even load. It doesn't even load sometimes. It's just irritating. It's awful. But nevertheless, we are about to get in to this game, and I believe we are loading in. We're loading in. Are we loading in? Oh. Oh, I'm excited. Have a, oh, yeah. No. Oh, I'm we're getting into so the game. Ready for this. We're getting into the game. This should be very interesting. I'm really excited to see the way that both teams play and how they handled the hardpoint rotations and Make everything. Make sure you like and share this stream as we're about to continue with 10 seconds on the game clock. Walk me through right here. Taco, what's the what's the route you will be for USM right now? So I would probably take the same route that Orbeez is taking right now. You want to you want to go straight for that hard point right off the bat. Run up those left stairs to grab that heady. Um, you want to grab the hard point as fast as possible, obviously, because if you have it, that means you take it. Did it? Is there a crash? <laughs> oh. Technical difficulties. Do apologize. Do apologize. Oh, all right. And here we go. Uh, sorry for the technical difficulties. We have Strahan playing on the long side. We have, I believe, that's uh, that's Orbsy playing hard on point, laying down. Tyler's playing in U. Robots playing on pull side. We have Strahan making sure we get back spawns. Is that's going to be a crucial part for P2? It's going to be very exciting. So the miss is having the contest on the other side. I wonder if Orpsy does chow. He does chow and gets the kill. So the miss is winning the P1. Let's see how well they're going to hold up for P2. It's very interesting the way Missouri State is playing right now. Um, they don't seem to be really going for the hard point. But however, Southern is gunning them down. They're going to have to make a play. I've seen multiple of them in the same spot. Uh, Southern is doing really well at holding their headies. Amazing. Three, just... three down for Missouri State. So the miss is set up is very, looking very impossible to break. Missouri State has just got the back spawns. Looks like they're going to be flanking Tyler on point. Hopefully they notice that. Well, it looks like some of the misses going ahead and rowing. Tyler being able to get the kill, but not able to get the last one shot behind. Robots How important would up. you say kills are in this versus hard point? Captures? I would say kills on this is only crucial if you're rotating or trying to cut off an angle. The best thing to do is just to hold down. If you can kill them, that would be great. But getting kills isn't as good as getting time on point because the main point in this game is to win with points on the heart on the uh, the objective. Mm -hmm. So not just being a kill monger, you still got to be able to capture hill time. And Tyler is being able to watch over the top. Getting killed from behind, but a good trade by Orsi playing in the back spawns. No one's on hill time. Missouri State got a good break. Let's see what they can do to capitalize this. One going on pool stairs. One's going to hop up. Straight hands playing on DJ. A crucial point. Got robots rotating already to P4 on statue. Missouri State pushing through pool side stairs. Strahan got one. Oh, Strahan's dead. Sorry, State did a good break. I wonder if they're going to go for scraps here. That's going to be very interesting at this point, being down so much. You got to be able to rotate. And Kevlo being able to kill Robot on statue. How do you? How important do you think the corners are? Because it, it seems to me as Southern is checking all of their corners every time they turn both sides. How crucial do you think that is to a game? 
I feel like it's it's always nice to check corners. You never know what could happen. You don't want to have that caught timing of you just taking a glance and there's going to be enemy right there killing you from behind. Mm -hmm. As Southern Miss right now, being able to lock down all angles, winning the crucial gunfights, Strahan able to get three down from Missouri State. One is up. So the miss is really much holding down map control on all angles and all fronts. Missouri State just getting caught in a blender spawn split. What do you think Missouri State should do here in this position? You know, they're down 146 to 11. They really haven't controlled the hard point. How do you think they should adjust themselves for this game? I would say the big thing is probably just getting the early rotations and just trying to lock down on spawns. I mean, with this big of a deficit, you want to be able to at least play together and work together on trying to get a break, trying to see what you uh, can uh, do. Apologize. <laughs> what you can make out of Southern Miss's setup and seeing how you can break it from the outside. But with Southern Miss just winning any gunfights they approach, I would probably say they have to just push all together and not just take individual gunfights as they're losing in full. Yeah, so in this position, do you think they should wait till each other spawns and then push because you also don't want to get caught in a line right oh no you want to be able to because the crucial point you want to do if there's 25 seconds on the hill time and you're not going to get it you want to go ahead and rotate and try to get the next hill trying to maximize the amount of potential points you can get but having the late rotation and just trying to go for scraps on old is not going to win you the game Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Um, what, what would you pick the same gun for this map as another map? Like, what would your loadout be? Rival. Rival. All day. Mm -hmm. Especially rival. I mean, MCW is going to be very crucial on winning those long-range gunfights. But if you're able to hit those shots and be able to be just aggressive and just claiming the lanes with the uh, rival, as you can see here, the close. This is a big, uh, good cruise missile by Strahan. This map is a good both guns. You can use any guns and you will get the same results you should be getting if you're playing it right. Mm -hmm. and we have Missouri State doing a three different lane. That's how you break they up got a, a hill double for kill Missouri right there. State. One pushing in. They know they have one guy on hill time. The guy realized that Sonomis already rotated next to P3. Crucial capture here by Missouri State. Hope they they really want to bring this back. They're really pushing for it. Uh, however, Southern is defending that next hard point, that which is a smart play by them, letting Missouri State take that other one so that they can have the next hard point on lockdown. I just I think uh, one of the Missouri State players just used a knife. I don't know if that was a legal play, but we're gonna continue, mm -hmm. nevertheless. A little bit of a mistake. Now, I do have to give the viewers at home that this is not the CDL mode, as the CDL mode is still broken for some reason. So any icons you see on the right, right side for the score streaks, please uh, ignore those. The only crucial ones are cruise missile. They are the only one allowed. Nice. And so the miss takes the first game, 250 to 37 points. Oh, we are back. And man, I believe, uh, yep, Orbsy going 29 and 6. Three? Dominant game with Strahan going 28 and 6. Absolutely. With Tyler with the 2 minutes and 25 seconds on hill time. With also, oh man, now that, that's how you play Hardpoint on Six Star. Anything that stands out to you? Southern Miss destroyed really on that rotation, that map rotation every single time. Um, even when Missouri State had taken the hill, they didn't contest the hill because they knew. They knew that the hill was going down in 10 seconds, so it was more worth to secure the next hill than to go and take the other hill. Yeah, that was a, a very dominating performance by, US, uh, by the U.S. Army COD team as they were just purely dominating in every aspect, rotations, gunfights, setups. Pretty much Missouri State was just on a downhill battle mm -hmm. when it started. Mm -hmm. What do you think Missouri State should adjust for this next match? Because they're not going into hard point now. I'm pretty sure this is SND, correct? Yes. Yeah, so what do you think they should do for this? I would say they know so if they 
take anything from last match is that the gunfights are going to be crucial and they know who's got to be because with cod you got to know who's going to be that player mm -hmm. the game changer player you got to be able to take him now because the last match you had two of those players who went basically had a three point 3.0 to uh, close enough KD. Those are the players you want to make sure you look out for because if they were able to gun you down like that, they were probably going to gun you down and search. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to capitalize on that and take them out as soon as you can. But I say the big thing on search for Missouri State, if they want to get a chance, they have to play as a team. They have to communicate. Mm -hmm. Got to be able to get the setups. If they're going to plant bomb, they have to commit. They can't just, you know, have a plan, have to set plan. Mm -hmm. They gotta know the tendencies of the players playing on Karachi on SD. Know, like, just pretty much have that map knowledge of the tendencies and trying to get an early pick. Getting an early pick on Search, uh, I think we're about to start. But getting an early pick on Search is gonna be crucial. Having that 4v3 advantage is gonna be playing anybody's mm -hmm. favor. Even if you're not as well put together as some teams, it's still a good chance for you to win that round. Yeah. No, I completely understand. Uh, from my time playing ranked COD uh, and my little league of gold, uh, search and destroy. If you get that bomb planted and you secure it instantly, it's it's basically a win. You just have to hold hold your corners, make sure you check all your spots, especially on Karachi. Karachi's a really good map to hold your corners on. So let's let's see how Missouri State does. They they have to tie it up here. I would say the big point on Karachi is getting that power position on top third and just being able to look through B, B Street and being able to hold down and just hope uh, you're able to get an early pick and just, it's all about angles, like you said. Yeah. Angles are crucial. If you're able to have that cr angle to knock off, a get a single kill and chicken, then you're going to be able to pretty much ride this game out and just play time. I would say the big thing on search is time. Time is going to be a big, big thing to worry about. And sometimes it can be your worst enemy or your best friend. Because mm -hmm. if it's a 2v1 and you have 10 seconds left, there's no reason for you to chow the bomb or chow the opponent because he can get a two-piece easy. Yeah. got to learn how to balance the two. And no, we're just 100%. doing a little... Uh, I believe there's a little technical difficulty on the other side for Missouri State. So just hang tight. Make sure you comment down below how you, the thoughts. One to ten. How was the match for USM Army? How did it go? I'd like to hear your thoughts down in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Should be an interesting matchup coming up. Uh, I'm interested to see how Missouri plays this S&D. It's two, two very different points, opposite sides of the map. They're played two very different ways, obviously. But um, what, what would you go for? First, if you were the bomb plant team, which point would you go for first? I'll go to A, <laughs> straight up. I believe A is on um, bus, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I'll go straight for A, because everyone goes to B, and I would just say throw the smoke or throw something to simulate that you are going to B, and then just immediately go straight to A and just set up and just try to get top red and just establishing that high ground and being able to get bombed down. You're able to. Mm -hmm have that control because you, if you're able to have that a control you can get back alley watch hoppa while also you have someone close on the other side watching yellow and watching top ac which is i believe is a very crucial point when you're in bakery no yeah no 100 percent uh they gotta they gotta take that top third you know that's that's one of the most crucial points on the map especially if they're rotating the alley like they gotta they gotta take it it's, it's it should be an interesting match you know, Missouri has to bounce bounce back here. We'll see. We'll see what they adjust. We'll see what they do. You know, uh, I think they have to. They have to make sure that they're. They have to play a little slower because they're jumping out and getting gunned down immediately. So they're gonna have to make sure that they're checking their corners, make sure that they're doing, like rotating correctly, but not too fast. You know, I think. I think I think this should be a good match. I would hope so. I mean, so far, so the miss uh, a dominant performance, not allowing the opponents to get more than fifty is uh, pretty much insane. Not to say, but that is game one. Let's hope they can continue as we're going to game two. Search and destroy on Karachi. Six one easy on the comments. All right. <laughs>
makes uh well, as well, speaking of that let's do a little prediction in the twitch chat see what's the final score would be anyone that is closest will probably win something with their imagination they'll win my gratitude all right and here we go so the miss will be on the offense let's see where they go it looks like they're going towards b throwing nays trying to get an early pick it's gonna be crucial we having two players going down mid lane as strahan's pushing through playing through bottom church he's gonna go top church nice he here here. By that's one oh i believe that's two that is two right. so the miss half the advantage on b and they are planning a b we got one Missouri State player pushing through the backside, going through junk, trying to catch one sleeping as KSA, trying to get ores, missing those shots. Crucial. And Tyler got Caleb, and that's a that's, clean that's sweep clean. and bombs down. Wow, that was that was really fast. That was flawless offensive yeah. play. Beautiful rotations from Southern right there. Now let's see what they do on the defense. Missouri State. Let's see what they can do. If they, I wonder, they're probably gonna do the same thing. Some of the miss have done on an offense, going straight to B. Looks like it's a common trend for most COD teams. But we'll see how this goes. I'm interested to see how fast of plays that Southern has because it seems that uh, Missouri didn't get to the point that fast. How it, Southern had had all the angles cut off that first round immediately. Looks like Missouri State is definitely going A. Let's see, we have two people in. Oh, is the robot able to claim one life? They know they're probably at A. Let's see. Looks like he's starting the plant. Two down from Missouri State. Let's see what happens here. He just has the bomb. Here's rule is dead, and so the miss takes that Another defensive game. round. What do you think Missouri should do here to bounce back? Oh, that's a. Good. Got me stumped there. <laughs> so the miss is playing sound Call of Duty, playing together as a team. Thinking their comms are really good. I mean, that's the big thing about SD is all about comms, being able to win the gunfights and just anticipating where your opponent's going to be. Mm -hmm. Let's see where they go on offense. They went B last time. Are they going to continue going B or are they going to go A? It looks it like looks they're, like they're going B. Tyler. Getting the bomb, going B, looks like they're the same thing. Missouri State doing a four spread, two at A. One's playing top red, one's playing office, one's playing top church, and one's playing back sandbags. Serious rules just pushing through, playing junk. Oh, junk. Orgy gets the first blood. Ooh, that's, that's... Oh, and Strahan Orgy gets the, the trade. There's a 3v2. So the miss has yet to plant the bomb, but the bomb has been planted as I'm saying it. You got one on bridge, and robot gets it, and so the miss again with another clean slated round. Oh, that clean slated Orbzy did Orbzy take did the take L, the but ball. so far so the miss is playing map dominance. They're cutting off all the angles, all the corners. They're moving ex incredibly fast. So the miss is. Let's see what Missouri State does. They went A last time. They might go for B here. They just need to be able to get one. Oh, I guess Orsi did not die. Really? I think the stats are a little bugged. I believe it was he was I'm, dead. I believe, yeah. Let's see what Missouri State does. They're looking like they're going A again. Tyler gets first blood. Let's see if he gets another one. Tyler gets another one. I want that. Oh, Tyler. He might get the three piece. Maybe. Ah, straight hand gets straight it. Hand? One alive for Missouri State. What can he do here? Playing in secret. Being able to get straight hand. Playing his life. I wonder if going to chase. Oh, and God timing. Oh, That's that is crazy. not what you want to do there. He had at least 20 bullets left That's in the match. Insane. What are we doing here? Reloading. Oh, that is tough. That is tough. Ooh. I hate when that happens. Didn't even knock that line to you. I does that too. I ain't gonna lie to you. I do that too. This is looking to be an interesting game. 
Let's see. Let's see what Missouri State can do. With Southern Miss, they've been commonly going to B, but looks like they're going to change it and going to A. Pretty Missouri sure I State's saw some knives on uh, Missouri State side. That's not going to do you too good if you can't mm -hmm. stay alive. Mm -mm. Tyler fighting through the smoke, winning the battle down in back alley. Got one. Looks like he's going to hop up. Can he get another body? That was a nice back off there by Tyler. Playing in Cubby. Straight hand playing in yellow. Tyler being able to get that. And it's just another clean sweep for Southern Miss. Whatever they're on, I want to be on what they're on. I know, right? They're only playing five like straight crazy. rounds, only losing two players. I think we're about to get hit with a cruise. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Don't you? It, there's like a five second wait time to use cruise missile at the start Indeed. of the match, though. So the miss is on the verge of winning game two on search and destroy, potentially having a clean sweep. Yeah, robot. And just uh, allow, uh, tell the audience the stats are a little bit buggy at the moment, as you see on the top screen. I do apologize for that. They're not doing an accurate reading, but Mr. Robot is currently 8 0 with a cruise in his back pocket ready to go. Will he even use it, though? I don't think they're going to be using it. Ooh, oh, robot. That. robot gun down. First blood for Missouri State, but the trade from Orbsey. Let's see when can Missouri State capitalize this. Orbsey with another one. Bombs down. Ooh, KSA with another kill. They are in 2v2. Can Missouri State get around? round? So the miss. Oh, Orbsey playing that position. I think that's why he's one more. I believe he's maybe one one. One more for an ace. Not sure. Maybe. He might be one away from an ace. See, Missouri State got the bomb. I wonder if he's going to take the bomb to A. Oh, Ooh, he's getting shot he's at. Getting shot. Getting shot by Orbsey. I believe that's an that's a clean, ace. Sweet. And that's game clean so the miss take game two six oh here dominance gosh that is insane that's actually i believe crazy. that is an ace for orzy <laughs> common section going crazy on the twitch chat <laughs> that is absolutely insane the stats are not not right accurate I, I yeah, know for a fact ksa got two kills and orbsy died i yeah. think twice that had eight that is utterly and another insane performance by the usm army team they just outright pedal to the metal no stoppage no nothing really showed uh how to play karachi oh yeah search and destroy yeah i mean barely any mistakes um the only fights they really lost were those those gunfights and the other team had gotten shots off first so it was it was really well played by southern i, I don't can't tell you how missouri could have played that better no nah, i mean they they had the right they had the right mentality i really i just really think the big thing is like closing down to setup wise mm -hmm. they just there was probably a little like some holes that some of the miss was able to find to exploit and of course there are some caught timings i mean the perspective we were spectating we were just watching one uh of our guys and one of their guys just staring down or being able to not really get the shots but <laughs> excuse me but uh as we're going on uh make sure you Stay tuned as we go right go into a short little break. Oh my gosh, what an interesting match that was. Yep. Yeah.
and welcome back. What an exciting first two games we had. Southern Miss utterly, utterly just putting the gas on. No stoppage, no, no gas station breaks, no nothing. We are going straight to the finish line with it. Southern Miss with a 2-0 to begin after the break with a Karachi control coming in. Now, Taco, tell me, do you think Southern Miss can get the 3-0? I, I really, honestly, the way that they've, they've been playing these two games, I mean, hard point, two, they had a four point, two of them had a 4.16 KD. They were like 23-5. and five. Like, there's no way that they don't get this clean sweep. I mean, it's they didn't lose a search game. You know, it's just they're, they're, they're goners. Like, they're going to win. With the first game, we had Orzee and Strahan going 28 and 9. Mm -hmm. No, 28 and 8 and tw 29 and 6. And yeah. that's on our respawn with control coming in with three total rounds in control mm -hmm. with 30 lives each. I'm pretty sure they can... Reputate repu oh. those stats, little big word for Elmo right there. And we have with Surge, I mean, we have four players almost going double positive. With one of our players would have had a perfection game if he wasn't going for an ego challenge. Yeah, it was a little ego was challenge. Miss had the crew. The, which was missed during the broadcast, which I do apologize. I should have noticed that. That's on me. But nevertheless, Southern Miss comes out with a 6 and 0. Oh, as we're still waiting on one of the Missouri Southern State players to get in. And one of our players uh, disappeared uh, somewhere. I'm getting from our main guy. But nevertheless, uh, what can we expect from this Karachi control? What's a good strategy? What can we do to continue this? So control is a hard point, but as long as you control that point, it does not stop. I think that Southern Miss is going to do really well. They they might they might only lose one control point. I if they get on top of it and do the same thing that they did in hard point, there's no time limit on those control points. You just have to control it. Right. I I want to I want to bet you right now Southern Miss the way they're playing right now they're not going to go for capturing the point. They're utterly out for blood. Something has caught them on fire and they're not going to cool down i think pre i'm pretty much going to guarantee you they might just said forget the point we're going for blood and i hope missouri southern state whatever tactics they have they are ready for mm -hmm. because if some of them do however go all out balls to the walls going absolutely kill hungry there's going to be a there's going to be a mistake there's going to be a hole missouri state can go and capture those points and if this goes to around three whoever captured the most points can be defense and i think with karachi the big thing you want to do is defend you want to defend yeah. first you want to be able to see what they can do on offense so when you switch sides you want to be able to do better than what they did yeah no i'm i'm excited i want to see cruise missile on top of cruise missile on top of cruise missile you know do do they need that many probably not uh, it's, a, it's a little hearsay. It's more of uh, if they do want to get that, they have to die mm -hmm. to be able to do that. With uh, how our players are doing, I don't think they can die at the moment. <laughs> In all fairness, whatever whatever they did the beginning of the game, whatever pregame ritual they did, whatever goat they sacrificed, they are currently on their A game, and I don't think nothing can really uh, stop them. But anyone who is uh, returning from the break, thank you for staying for this match. This might continue. This might not after this game. But please give your predictions down in the Twitch chat. It is much appreciated. Make sure you sub. Make sure you follow. Make sure you follow any of our handles for any updates. And any crazy clips that we missed during the stream will be reposted on Instagram or TikTok. And, of course, after every stream, this will be reposted on Twitch. So if you missed out on anything, you can always go back and watch. So, Taco, what's your prediction? Ooh. What's your I, prediction for the match? What I, do you think? Who's going to be our standout player? Our standout player. Robot has been looking really good this in all, both of those matches. Like, incredible rotations. His shots, on, like, near aimbot. Oh. Near aimbot. Like peak perfection performance from him. Uh, also, Tyler, I 
I've been seeing a lot out of him. You know, I it, did have a little surprising. docile style role on the hard point as him most likely just playing objective. But then again, that's all you can do for an objective player. Your main goal is to make sure you gather the points and kill anybody that gets near it. And of course, it's not really an appealing role, but nevertheless, a role that helps you win because when you have somebody, when you have two players going absolutely crazy and they have zero on the hard point, take away Tyler. Missouri State is leading yeah. that hard point. Yeah, I mean, you have to you have to be that third man, you know, or and that fourth have, man in this case. And we have a robot or Jeff, as everyone likes to say, uh, really much just being a standout player and just playing his role. If Tyler's not there, he takes in, and especially with Surge just absolutely dotting up the opponents. Mm -hmm. I really think this control, this uh, Karachi control might be lopsided, but you never know in Call of Duty. You no. never know. I'm not saying anything guaranteed as a uh, rush. I see you in the, the chat. There ain't no uh, commentator curse. Mm. It's more of how focused these players are, and it just happens that I said something. Yeah. Hey, I've, I've seen reverse sweeps in pro leagues. Silimus so actually was uh, last season was a part of a reverse sweep and got reverse sweep. So they know how it feels on yeah. to be on the back end and be the one who caused it. But uh, as we're about to start on Karachi control, everyone's getting locked in. Ladies and gentlemen, get close. Whatever you're doing right now, sit tight, sit still. Headphones all the way up. Well, not all the way up. I might blast your eardrums. But we're about to have an exciting match on Karachi control. So please... Whatever popcorn you have, whatever beverage of choosing that is a Coca-Cola product, please make sure it is refreshing, it is chilled. And here we go. Out of the gates, we have Southern Miss on the defending side, going up, all focused on going mid. One's going to split off to AC, one's going to play through top church. Strahan's going to be playing bottom barrels. Who's going to get first blood? Who's going to set the tone? Mr. Robot able to kill KSA first blood, holding dominance. Or was he top third, or he just jumped down? Did he? I believe he he's. Was, uh, he just jumped down. He's Tyler's moving playing top red. This one on one absolutely Ooh. gets destroyed. And, uh, that is crazy. Straight hands playing zone B. We have someone on top red, one's on bottom office. Robot's already having three kills to begin the match. Three away from Cruz. Straight hand kills in junk. So the miss, two lives down to Missouri Southern State, six lives down. Let's see if Kev Lowe can see Strahan playing in junk, pushing he up just towards. Missed him. Kev just missed him. E three just missed him. Still, oh my goodness, what are we watching what is here? Happening? There we go, finally. <laughs> Strahan was just hiding, playing hide and seek. <laughs> Hey, Jeff is on a, currently on a killing spree. One away from a cruise. Missouri State have to be able to capture a point. Tyler just went, went ballistic there. Hey, a pistol. Robot is 5-0 and oh right now. He's is zero in the top position. He now has the cruise in his back pocket. Make seven that and seven in a row to begin he is the rolling. game. Missouri Southern State just flipping positions. They have to be able to get a single segment just to extend the time. Orbsy is not having Tyler a very fun game. on A, no, on B, excuse me, with one playing in Cubby. Let's see if he's able, he's going to get the chow, and he does get the chow. But Missouri Beautiful State, chow. Missouri Southern State is still fighting, and Hunter being able to go through it. Tyler, shot from office. Ooh, robot. robot. Oh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a lazy left stick there, not being able to hit his shots. Hey, it looks Missouri Southern State. Finding life, being able to capture a segment on A. I wonder if Southern is going to get this point up or they're going to continue fighting. We have four, four Missouri Southern State able to get a point. Southern Miss looked like they had the chance to continue, but just absolutely just failed to, to, fail to try to break something. I think Southern is going to take them on lives before they can get that second point. Let's we'll see what Missouri State has. They do, or they doubt, they... You have one little little sliver on B trying to get the segment. They have 48 seconds. So the miss does have the live advantage, 16 to six. Orbsy taking that zone. But this point game down. can easily turn. So the miss plays a little bit more together, a little bit less spread out as KSA going through hop up. See, so you can catch some. So the miss players lacking. I don't going think KSA unnoticed going to the back door. 
playing pop up. I wonder if he's gonna chow this. He gently does, and he's going back, going to the back door. Strahan reads it. Beautiful read by Strahan. Chows, but doesn't able to get it. Three down for one Missouri left. Southern State with one left. And Southern Miss takes the first round of Karachi Control. Hey, Missouri Southern State really, they had it there for a second. I mean, basically a team wipe right there. They took a point. They had one halfway. There, there's a glimmer of hope for them. Like, genuinely. So the Miss played a little stretched out and Missouri Southern State able to capitalize that and gain A was going to be crucial if they were able to take this round two, leading them to be able to have one full point. I don't think they had uh, got any segments on B, but as we go to round two, so the Miss is now on the offense. Let's see what they have to start. It'd be a two split, <laughs> one going down mid and one's going through chicken. I wonder... I wonder if Jeff's gonna go up to the top third as he did before, as he started out hot, going seven and zero, oh, and he does already continuing. He is currently fourteen and three. Woo! Didn't see that, but he has a cruise in his back pocket whenever he needs to use it. So the miss, straight hands on a killing spree. He got a cruise. Jeez. Cruise. It's gonna be exciting. Straight hand and Mr. Robot are showing out. Absolutely gaining map control on two separate sides. One playing on AC, one's playing on top third. Strahan is just continually. My gosh, his brain. I believe that's an eight piece. Take that to McDonald's. Orbzy looks like was trying to capture B. Strahan's coming in. If he can get a team sweep here, it's going to be. Just... Oh, that's Double two. Kill. Can he get Double one more to kill? clear out? Can he get one more? He went up the pistol. Oh, he oh just God. cleared out. Hey. So the miss is just. Oh, my goodness. That's a triple kill from Strahan to take Clearing that. Clearing out A. Can he get. And he's still on a rampage. He cannot be killed. So the miss already captured A with B coming down. Strahan is on a 13 playing on, on hop of and just. Oh, Southern Miss has control. It's going to be tough for Missouri State Ooh. to come back in. Southern Miss just absolutely dominated with Strahan. Just. Strahan, wow. 18 and 3, was on a 14 kill streak. He was on a 14 on a kill 14 kill streak. Kill streak. Oh, yeah. Might, we might have to fact check that, but that is. That we were correct. He was on a 14 kill streak. Ladies and gentlemen, that wasn't a performance that... Yep, we can still see it Eight. on the stat. Yep. He's on a 14, 14 kill, kill streak. streak. Can Summon Miss keep on going to the finish line? Home stretch. Let's see what Missouri Southern State have in their back pocket, seeing they can find some sort of life, some sort of strategy that they can do to break up this Southern Miss momentum. It looks like they're all going A. Tyler or claims... B. First blood in second blood. Three down for the Missouri Southern State. Make that four. Robot got a double kill right there. Off to a continuous. And we have three Southern Miss players on streaks. Straight hands continuing his run, but it ended Ooh. as he was going for a chow. Oh my. 19 and four when that streak ended. Oh my. They, we have, I believe we have three cruises in our back pockets. This is utterly insanity as we have two of the missed players have 19 kills with 38 seconds left. Robot Missouri just Southern State hit. has yet to claim a sliver of a segment. Robot just hit 20. 20 and 4 is what Robot's sitting at right now. Strahan right there with him. Tyler's planning secrets, toying with his food. Listen, Missouri State is going for B. Unable to as Tyler continues his reigns by getting Ooh. shot down on bus stop. Missouri State have their player playing Cubby. Robot trying to get a wall kill. He's going to take a chow. He does. Got him. Three down for Missouri Southern State with 11 seconds to go. They have to be able to get a point. Have to do something here or this is going to be game. And we're going to go home. Ooh. With the clocks going down, so the mix, I believe. Oh, they're taking egg, freezing the clock. Strahan 
Chows. And that is game. Still the miss with another clean sweep and a dominance performance by Strahan. Oh my god. Tyler Lafray going 15 and 0. Robot wow. and Strahan. Both. Absolute slaughter. Insanity. 24 and 5 from Strahan. I'm Utterly pretty sure it was like 21 and insanity. 5 for Robot. Oh. 22 and 5. 22 and 5. 18 and 8. Orbsy. I don't, I didn't even notice the lackluster <laughs> performance. <laughs> I, um, that's a first for me after going 24 and 8 in the first game and going 7 and 9, but it doesn't matter. It's overshadowed by Strahan going 24 and 3. It was, I'm pretty sure it was that 24 is and 3. Utterly insanity with Southern Miss as they claimed the first victory of the season against Missouri Southern State going 3 0. They didn't lose a single round. There was no loss of composure. This was utterly a beating. That was that was crazy. A, an amazing performance from Robot and Strahan in that last round. I mean, they they honestly they probably the, the two deaths that they had were ego chows. Ugh, that is a uh, that's very much. That was just a sight to see. That's the first. That's the. That's the first game of the season, and yeah. they did that. Mm -hmm. They did that. I will love to be able to go every week and that to happen. Mm -hmm. But of course, not every game is going to be like that. There are always someone, someone who's going to be a sore thumb mm -hmm. in the mix. But as of this week, so the miss whatever training they did during the summer, whatever hours they put in, it paid off for the first game, and they are one and zero to begin the season. Currently, a winning record. Mm -hmm. They and can't set their expectations too high off of this game, though. They have to is true. keep calm. Is true. Don't get too big of an ego. You know, we saw sometimes in there, they're chowing when they didn't need to chow. And, I mean, we did see there was one, they, the first round, they got a little too, too, a little too, I guess, high on their horse mm -hmm. and enabled Missouri Southern State to capture A fully, mm -hmm. four stack it. Yeah. So not every win, there's always ways to improve and... I would say that's probably a good uh, learning process is not to being too high on your high, high horse. But uh, as we get this done, that is the first game, everyone. And stay tuned for next week. Make sure you be able to check out our other streams that we're going to have on our social media handles on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, and, of course, on Twitch with uh, some of this eSports. And uh, you have any last remarks? Um, not really. I mean, amazing games. Beautiful. Well, my name's Dragon Win. This and is I'm Taco. Taco. And so the miss to, to the, the top. top.